Hey, good morning. Welcome to the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. It's it's late morning for the show today. You know, you don't do something that's in your your daily mechanism or whatever, your habits for a day, and you're all throwing off. So I am all throwing off today. Sorry about that. Anyway, we're all we did do we are doing a show. I wanted to do one yesterday. I wanted to do one Monday, but it was kind of crazy. It had a couple Sprint reviews, had to go visit the client yesterday, so busy day. Which gives me no excuse not to do a show in the in the evening, which I could do. I should do. And I will do more in the future. Anyway, hey, welcome. Um, today I want to talk about being a broken record a little bit, maybe. Getting the stakeholders in your review sooner than later. And I'm going to talk about uh, a review I just did the other day and give you some feedback on what I saw, witnessed, and share with you on uh, how we got there and uh, what came about. And then I'm going to do another session later on about a suggestion on sprint reviews and um, doing stuff. So it's, it's like a two-part. This is the intro. So the intro is get your stakeholders in there to your sprint reviews earlier than later, sooner than later. And we talk about 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. This is where we're here today. And by the way, I got Gary Cohen. I got an interview that's coming out later tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then I'll put a podcast out about 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then it'll just float through the uh, social media engines shortly there after the, uh, the podcast that goes out. So that's on for tonight and I'll put some posts up. So stay tuned for that. Keep an eye out for that. It's good. It's a good interview. Enjoy talking to uh, Gary Cohen. He's a good guy. All right. And all, don't forget, he'll be here on March 20th for our meetup group. If you want to sign up for that, it's a free meetup group. We talk about scrum and agile and different topics and things like that as far as the meetup group. And today we try to do practical and tactical ideas. So you can bring more value to your customer, not work crazy hours, bring that value, and have a little fun along the way. And today in our late morning episode of the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, talking about, it's a bro- I'm like a broken record. I mean, it's a broken record you hear from everyone. Get the stakeholders in your sprint review. Well, sometimes it's not that, it's easier said than done. A uh, lot of trust factors, uh, security issues. Things people worry about when they when when we do that, they're worried about um, outside influences and things like that. Oh, and by the way, can you find little me in the video? If you're watching the video, there's a little me in here now with the new book. So I got it. I, I actually got it over here. So I put it over there because if I put it over here, it's shiny. So all the lights would just reflect like that to you. So I put it over there. It's not getting that out. Bubbles. Oh my God. Bubbles just clawed me. She stretched out and just went, yeah. Thanks, Bubs. She's here, by the way. Um, so talking about sprint reviews and getting the stakeholders in there sooner or later. A lot of teams resist that. And they're like, oh, I don't want to go in front of the stakeholders. I'm worried. You know, it's it is very tough to get feedback. I Agree, even the feedback I get sometimes that's tough. You got to have a a strong skin, tough skin to you know be able to handle accepting feedback, whether good or bad, putting it out there, like floating it out there. Like, oh, what are we gonna do? Is that like floating the book out, right? You put a book out there, oh, is it gonna be successful or not? I don't know, we'll see. Um, but sometimes you just got to do it. And one of the things I experienced in this one group is uh, the team was very hesitant about doing stakeholders and getting it there. And I'm like, look, just get a couple group, you know, team reviews in, get a feel for it, then go invite the stakeholders. And then, and then from there, we, we, we go from there. They were kind of like, okay, so we did a review, did a couple things. We had the bosses there as a chance, like I'd said in a previous episode, a chance to show how good you are to bosses. So it's not just your immediate supervisor, but other senior people in the organization. So they finally did a, a, a sprint review. I thought it went awesome. I was so excited for them. They actually did it. And they actually got feedback from some of the senior stakeholders. But the, and, and, they, and they got some creative feedback. Oh, I never knew. Here's the thing. 
right? And, and, and I'm writing up a little thing for, for the group on about the benefits of sprint reviews for them. But one of the things, person, one of the feedbacks, like, you know, they got the mock ups and don't understand why they didn't know this is what it looked like. There is a big difference between a mock up or a spec and what you actually see when you operate the software. So, what they see in the mock up may not be see, may not be, it's a starting point. It doesn't mean they understand how the software will work and how it will display because you're writing the software. You don't even know either. You got a mock up too. And until you put all the software pieces together and it does what it does, you, we, no one really knows what it's going to look like, right? And people are like, well, why don't they know what it didn't realize it was going to work that way? Because it's just not there until they actually see it. So that was great. They got feedback. Oh, I didn't know it was going to do that. Oh, I didn't know it was going to look like that when it came out. But it did, and they got feedback on, on different things, which was awesome. This is why you do reviews and just don't depend on, well, we wrote a spec. We wrote a requirement, so they should know what it looks like. Well, you really don't know until you actually see it and touch it and operate the software or whatever product you have. And that's why it's so important to get those stakeholders in. The other thing, it breaks that fear factor for the team. You'll live, you'll, sur you'll survive. You know, it's it, people are so worried that they're not going to survive these sprint reviews. That's why they don't do it. You know, they hide in a little corner and it does it, but they'll do fine. And you just got to encourage them as a scrum master or coach. You'll do fine or a manager, whatever. You'll do fine. Don't worry about it. And you need to cover that some things will work, some things won't. You know, it is what it is. And the more you do with those stakeholders, the more they get comfortable with seeing stuff in progress. They're not looking for that final thing we're going to release to the production, to, to the customer, like, you know, that the wow factor, the big, the big release. But they get used to the small releases. One of the other thing that was really interesting is that they're also worried about this. And they go, I think they realized it wasn't that bad and actually was pretty good. And they're like, you know, we should invite their whole department. So it went from just key stakeholders. We should get the whole department next time to, to come to the sprint review and give us feedback. So the people that are actually going to use the software, besides just the managers or whatever, get a feel for what's going on, right? Or just their, their little product or what they requested or their their, their or, um, small group of people, right? That said, we want this and this and that. And get it out in the hands of everyone, you might get more feedback. So it was really interesting. They went from, we don't want to meet with the stakeholders to, okay, we're going to meet with small groups. Can we meet with all the stakeholders that are going to operate our software? So it was really neat watching that progression as it went in the sprint, in the sprint review. And this is why I say the sooner you can start this process, the better. So they went from, we got a, we got a thumbs up there. So we went from not doing any review, whatever, to reviewing with their team. We got a comment. Let's see. Uh, okay. Anyway, so and um, anyway, I had to fix some people putting stuff in there. Um. So, so they 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 have this idea of of going from not visiting with anybody to um, presenting to the team to presenting to a, to their manager, right? To the senior manager, to presenting to the stakeholders, to now wanting to present to everyone in that department. So, it was an interesting transition, and the sooner you can start this process, the sooner you get to where I just said, right? And then next time we'll talk about more. So anyway, I want to go with that today. Just to encourage you as a broken record, the sooner you can get that, you hear my progression. They went from just not wanting to do it, just themselves, to a senior manager in their IT group, to a stakeholder who's their customer, senior stakeholders or key, to wanting to do the whole department. And you see that progression. So the sooner you can start that in your sprints, you know, it, if you did not want to do it, to their team, to a senior manager, to a senior stakeholder, to everyone in the department, that's five sprints right there. So in theory, that's five sprints. So let's say you did two sprints for each level. That could be 10 sprints. 
So it's more like 10 sprints to get to that point. It's kind of funny. I think they're actually kind of close to that as far as I go. Maybe a little bit longer for the group, but it takes about 10 sprints to get to the point where they're, well, some teams will be faster, but I'm going to say if the ones are resistant to do it, at least give your team about 10 sprints before they start wanting to invite the entire department. So somewhere between five and 10, right? Depends how rapidly it can go, but it can do that, that level. So with that, I want to say have a great day. Don't forget to listen to Gary Cohen's um, present uh, interview. I'm going to do that tonight. It'll be dropped at 8, and he'll be here on March 20th for our meetup group. With that, I want to wish you all a great day. Happy scrumming, and we'll see you tomorrow. And take care. Bye. See ya.